What's up guys, Chris here from Mainly Mesh doing the first part of a two part review series today starting with the new Throne Fiber Mesh. I've been messing around with this guy in one of my gamers for a long time now. Wanted to really beat the heck out of it uh, before I gave you guys a full review. So here it is top to bottom. I've got a Maverick Optic U strung up with white Throne Fiber, the whole kit. So the whole throne fiber system, I've got the black strings all the way around, black shooter, and of course the white nylon with the gold aglets. So taking you through it, I'll start with just the stringing materials. The uh, sidewall strings are really, really well constructed. They do something kind of cool. If I really get geeky about it, I'll show you it, uh, where actually instead of a typical braided cord in the middle of their sidewall strings, uh, basically back in the day, some of those Jim Black strings and a lot of your kind of standard sidewalls had like between four and 24 little individual cords inside of the outer shell. Uh, this actually just uses straight fibers that aren't woven at all. And what that does is it reduces the abrasion uh, within the sheath of that sidewall string and makes the sidewalls last a lot longer because a lot of the times, a lot of times uh, sidewall strings break because of the internal abrasion more so than the external, which is kind of interesting. Um, so super durable design, uh, thin, tightly woven sidewall strings, really love those. The mesh strings up super easily, it's really malleable, uh, feels kind of similar in just the tactile feel to Hero Mesh in terms of when you're stringing it up, kind of that same style of coating, that same genre. Uh, the only issue I had is with the aglets. They don't usually fit in a standard sidewall hole, which I, I know a lot of people have been bummed about. I was able to jam them in to uh, the sidewall holes here, as you can see. I uh, was able to fit it in, but I think I kind of used my pliers and and raveled and stuff. Unraveled it and, and had to kind of squeeze it back together again. But uh, the shooting string's really interesting. has a nice snappy feel. Uh, and then as far as the mesh goes, so it's a really solid mesh. My only, my only issue with it, I'll start with the negative and then go to the positive. My only, my only issue with it is I was a little disappointed in the weave. Uh, pretty much most of the mesh on the market right now is either an exact copy or, or very similar weave to what String King Type 2 was. So unfortunately that old saying, the innovators are the suckers, kind of happened with String King Type 2. They had a very kind of dialed in weave and all, pretty much the majority of meshes on the market right now are kind of some iteration of that weave and thrown fiber is no exception there. So, you know, a lot of people were advertised different weaves. They're all pretty much that same kind of flat weave. I call it a flat weave just because it's kind of woven very cleanly and very, it, 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 uh, blah, blah, blah. aesthetically it's very pleasing. Um, but as you can see, it can have some slight effects when it comes to how it performs in the rain. But other than that, really solid material, nice and light. It's in that kind of 23, 24 gram weight class that all of these kind of performance meshes are now. It's got an awesome feel. Nothing too crazy in terms of the elasticity of it, but really this is just a really solid, solid option from Throne and it's coming in $2 less than Hero and $7 less than Type 3, $2 less than Type 2. So Joe's doing something kind of cool with the Made in America straightforward weave. Um, the other, the biggest difference between this mesh and Hero Mesh is Hero Mesh kind of had that same Type 2 style, but in the horizontal axis, I believe it's the weft, it's either the warp or the weft, it's a 50-50 shot, I got that right. The material that they use, the polyester that they use, is 75% the thickness as in the vertical, more or less, um, which gives it its unique feel. This appears to me to be kind of similar thickness in both axes, which gives it kind of a, a beefier hero mesh feel in a way. It still breaks in super soft, but it doesn't have that same kind of bagginess that people associate with Hero Mesh. Although I wouldn't call Hero Mesh a baggy mesh, it does have that slight shift to it. Uh, Throne Fiber doesn't have that. So if you can kind of imagine a, a 
hero mesh that's more like string king than hero mesh is if that makes sense so it's got like the feel of hero but kind of the overall shape and consistency of the type 2 so it's just kind of in between those two is how I would put it um, super light strings really nicely nicely like I said just overall solid mesh um, really consistent when you're out there on the wall and now I will take you to uh, the segment where I did a little water testing on this what that type of flat weave does is when you introduce water it used to be when you introduce water the nylon would absorb it and it would throw straight into the ground now with these flatter weaves when water is introduced it kind of develops this film on the surface of the mesh and what happens is the ball somewhat hydroplanes on the surface because it's floating on that film of water so you can see when i'm shooting here my first few shots i'm, I'm kind of hitting my spot in the top right corner and then after after i introduce the water to the stick you can see i'm kind of missing no more than like six or, or 12 inches above the top right corner and you can see on the last shot you can definitely dial it in so it's not anything that i'd say you'd you know you'd be playing in a game and you'd really notice all that much but um, it's just something that I think manufacturers should keep an eye on going into the future is when you do have that flat weave, it does seem that you actually have a little bit less whip in your stick when it rains um, than having the same exact amount of whip regardless of condition, which is kind of interesting. So it's, it's a phenomenon I've seen in other meshes before and I'll do a more in-depth review on it. Overall, this is an incredibly solid uh, system in general when you've got the whole kit coming in at $28, kind of beating out some of those other kits on the price points. Uh, you got the really cool aesthetic as always that's what Joe does best got a bunch of different bold colors just kind of your straightforward set I love the cobalt and the ruby look they've got and I'm sure he's gonna have some other cool colors coming out soon really like this product love that it's made in the US love that Joe is just kind of out of the wax world a little bit obviously he still loves his throne light it's a really cool mesh but I'm I'm obviously not a wax guy and this is this is really bringing thrown back on the map for me so make sure you check it out. Uh, you can check out more info on his page. Check out his YouTube channel. He does a bunch of cool stuff. And you can snag your throne fiber kit and system from our website, mainlymesh.com. Link in the bio uh, if you want to go purchase that. Click right here to subscribe. Other than that, thank you, Joe. Thank you, everybody else. Thanks so much. I'll catch you guys next time.